Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Mary Beth Sharp, the Vice President of Marketing for the Mohawk Group, Mohawk's commercial business. Mary Beth, how you doing? I'm great today, Kemp. Thank you for asking. I want to talk to you about this Design Forward virtual event that you did, but before that, let's talk real quickly about your background. As I said, Vice President of Marketing for Mohawk Group, and you've had that role for almost a year, and you've been at Mohawk for about a year and a half, right? Yeah, I'm a newbie to the flooring industry. Yeah, you actually spent nine years in a company based in Atlanta called Old Castle, which is a construction materials company, right? Yeah, so while I'm new to, to flooring specifically, I've been in the building materials industry for uh, over a decade, and a lot of that work on the exterior portion of the building, outdoor living, and then masonry block through Old Castle. Yeah, and we were just talking about you You have somewhat of a, a matrix reporting structure. You work with Mike Gallman and also with Karen Mendelson. So let's let's talk about the no, ne- no neocon thanks to COVID this year. And so, you know, Mohawk decided, well, we've well, we got to do something. We've got a lot of effort going on here with new products, and we need to get our message out. So you put together this design forward, you know, design and then FWD, a virtual event. Tell us about that. You know, a lot of work goes into preparing for these big industry events, as, as I know all businesses do. And, and Neocon is really one of our primary commercial events where we plan to launch a lot of products and have some really important networking events and, and meeting with our customers and co-collaborators. And so while we understand the necessity of canceling it this year, we wanted to brainstorm a way that we could get some of the benefits of an event like that, but do it safely. So what we came up with was, is this a virtual summit? Mm -hmm. We ended up making it three days where we could discuss and explore a new path forward. Our theme for Neocon was going to be design as a journey, and we believe in a better path. So we made that our design forward theme, There's a better path to design, and what we did with this event was actually create three paths, one for each day. We focused on the product path, Mm -hmm. a sustainable path, and then the personal individual path. Okay, and I know as part of this, I've just kind of skimming it a little while ago, you took people on a tour of your carpet factory in Glasgow, which is, uh, you know, that was an acquisition it was built by Burlington Industries for Lee's. You guys acquired it, and you spent a lot of money up there, so that was part of it. You actually did a yoga session, too, didn't you? We <laughs> did. One of our um, account executives, Ashley Perkins, is a certified yoga instructor, uh-huh. so we wanted to have kind of a release that people could do a quick five-minute personal meditation daily and so we discovered this about Ashley and and started to create these weekly videos that you can get through LinkedIn or Facebook and so we featured Ashley as on our personal path to be a yoga instruction. Mm -hmm. You also had a conversation with 13 and 9. I've always been impressed with them. They're an Austrian design firm that you've been working with you know, on and off. You actually won a Best in Neocon with a product they developed called, was it called Moving Floors or something like that? Relaxing Floors. Relaxing Floors. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's that's based off of the concept of fractals and a biophilic design. And we have, we're very fortunate to collaborate with 13 and 9. Mm-hmm. Anastasia and Martin are amazing. Yeah. And we were excited that they also participated in this event with us. We launched an uh, inspirational slash, I'd say, motivational series as part of this virtual event where we featured um, guest speakers, contributors outside of Mohawk Group to talk about something special to them. And so um, Anastasia and Martin chose to speak about new holism which is their transdisciplinary approach to human-centered design and the philosophy behind their work. And it's, it's great insight to how they work and, and what they do and, and their beliefs that actually contribute to their design work. Yeah. And you had this event. One of the questions for sure, I mean, it's, it's happened. It was a three-day event. But people who are interested can still access it, right? Absolutely. We're all busy, right? Mm-hmm. And remote work actually kind of made work life even faster. 
sister in some ways. So we knew that while we wanted people to participate with the live sessions, and we had a great response to that, there were a lot of people who wouldn't be able to. So our website dedicated to it, which is just mohawkgroup.com slash design, FWD, um, it's still accessible, and we recorded all of the sessions. So if someone wasn't able to participate, you can go back on there and see the replay. Um, or if you're like me and you participated, but you were kind of multitasking on the back end, I've gone back through just so I can concentrate on it and, and really get the message of this speaker. So it's still all accessible. People can go on and, and replay our sessions. Yeah. So I understand that the three days when you actually were doing it, you had around 2,000 people involved, right? We did. We had 2,000 guests who mm-hmm. um, registered for it. And then we had varying attendance in, in the live session as people jumped on or maybe they, you know, maybe you had a meeting in the middle of the day and you couldn't attend something live, but then you came back and watched the live session. So we saw an overwhelming response of um, replays almost immediately after we would post each replay right after it happened live. And there was just great response to people already watching it. You know, one of the keys to these trade shows like Neocon is to interact and build relationships and and get feedback. You know, this is what we're doing. What do you think? Was there a, a system or a way of getting feedback from the participants? Yes, we incorporated feedback from the beginning as we planned it from different partners. Marketing was really charged with the event, but we worked across Mohawk Group. We worked with Jackie Detmar's design team and product and sales. As we had ideas, we were constantly asking for feedback for those ideas. We also reached out to our associations and strategic partners such as ASID, NEWH, uh, people like Jason McLennan, and said, hey, what do you think about this? So one, we incorporated feedback from the beginning because it was such a new idea to try to help us create a better event. Mm -hmm. Throughout the event, we had live chat sessions, so you could chat on the sidebar or you could send a question to a moderator to be incorporated. Also, on the website, while we had the live sessions, you could add comments or even questions. Some of the great things is I saw um, questions in the comments, for instance, to Anastasia during her talk, and and she responded, here's the answer to that. So we actually had some live feedback, and then we plan to also do follow-up and actually do some surveys and ask those who participated if they would be willing to give us feedback. So when we do this again, we we can improve it and, and do it better. Well, ho- hopefully we'll have a Neocon next year. That's the hope, right? <laughs> we, we hope so. Yeah, Fingers yeah. crossed. Give us the URL again one more time for anybody that wants to go see this. It is mohawkgroup.com mm-hmm. slash design FWD. You can go to mohawkgroup.com, and there's a banner on our homepage that you can then click, and it'll link you over. All right. All right, Mary Beth. Good to talk to you. Again, been talking to Mary Beth Sharp, the Vice President of Marketing with the Mohawk Group, and you've been listening to Kempar and floridaily.net.